Welcome to the first quarter lunar week of the Aries lunar cycle, which kicks off the energetic vibration of the 2020 zodiac year. So now is the time to where you want to break through, utilize the power of a waxing square between the sun and the moon, and to use that energy to break through things that got you down. Now it's interesting this week because the Cancer first quarter moon is known as the weeping moon. And as we have the waxing square with the Aries sun is the vibration to the moon of the child. And what could make a mother weep but the sun or child in pain? And so how we can work with the vibration, the energetics this week is we have a couple of other players happening on the scene as we move through and utilize the powers that be to help us break through what we need to, the obstacles that we need to get through to get to the other side. And the other side is our happiness, our joy, our calm, and our peace. The first quarter Cancer moon is at 12 degrees, which is exactly the Syrian point. And so the moon is activating the power of the Syrian star cluster, where we can call upon our cosmic brothers and sisters for assistance. Now, the Aries sun is, you know, building this kind of masculine, violent type of vibration because it's sitting in, in oct or in energetic uh, frequency with Chiron, the wounded healer, and the black moon Lilith, who's our shadow side. So it's very easy to go into the shadow side of the weeping moon, feel helpless, feel unable to stop the crying in the world, right? And then the shadow can take over and destroy. Now, interesting with the first quarter cancer weeping moon at 12 degrees in alignment with the Syrians is we have a trans-Pluto planet traveling with the moon this week, and that's Kronos. And Kronos is that energy of, remember the Titan who ate all his children? <laughs> so this energetic has the frequency of destruction. Now, there's powers out there that know this, and they use that to wreck havoc in our mass consciousness. But we are aware, awake and alive, and we can see through the game. But we can also see how to use the power of destructive energy when we apply it through divine mother vibration. It's that energetic or that saying where a mama can say, I brought you into this world and I know how to take you out, right? So that's to get the kids to pay attention. And I had this really awesome example when I had my first dog and he was being raised by his mama and his mama was a Doberman and she was not going to have it, any of it. And she was so powerful at getting all the nine puppies in line and they stood there at attention. And I was like, how did she do that? She just had this uh, really powerful love and a powerful desire for order. <laughs> And sometimes we just need that little bit of a bark that gets our attention and we're like, yes, mama, uh, uh, what do you want me to do? I just want to make you happy, right? So you don't eat me and take me out. <laughs> so we can align with this power of uh, the great Kali energy of destruction of the divine mother, which doesn't mean that we have to suffer, but it means that we have the power to uh, transform a vibration that has been holding the mass consciousness down and depleting us of our, our energy, our goodwill, our grace, our happiness, our joy, because that's what makes the child cry. And so what I want you to do this week is to invite that Syrian cosmic divine mother energy to feel fertile, to inundate the Nile with this. So we wanna bring on a new consciousness onto the planet. And the Syrian is a star is what rises during the dog days of summer. And the Egyptians were very keen into understanding when that particular the Cyrus B rose at the end of J July and heralded this time when the, the Nile flooded the valley and brought fertility. And so it was a very big time of grace and honor. So we want to tap into that energy, use it and put it into our lives to help us break through the dread, the dreariness. Now, when you go to my blog post and read the post for this week, you will see the uh, symbols for 12 degrees Cancer, the moon, and 12 degrees Aries, the sun. And they both will give you deep, deep insights. These images become like psychic keys to open up our higher knowledge, our consciousness in alignment with the universe. 
And so go to the blog post and look at the keys. They will help you each day of the week as you utilize the power of the waxing sun and the first quarter moon to help you return to your sense of hope, love, desire, dream, calm, happiness, and be able to override the current vibrational energy that wants to take us down. All we have to do is take that energy to destroy that which keeps us down so that we can rise into our power, which is through that divine mother energy, which is the soft power, meaning that's where we show up and we lift the car off the child, right? Because we're so full of that mother's love for everyone and everything, all life on this planet. So that's your challenge this week. Comment on the blog, comment on YouTube, make sure you're subscribed. Head on over to lunarladies.com. Find out more of what I'm up to. My name's Shannon Marie McMurray, and I would be happy to take a look at your chart.